I cry for everything. My grandma took me to somewhere and said there's a mirror in my forehead. They cut the forehead and something like mirror dropped down. I was in labor room. The same man appeared to me physically. This is the time for you to come. Because if I close eyes, the same man will come. I cause the woman. He will die with the money. I was in my house. Police knocked in the afternoon. Prophet TV Joshua appeared to me. When it is time to go to bed, she will go and wear trousers. <laughs> When my eyes are open, I will see myself. Oh, Jesus. Please like, share, hit the notification button, and please leave comments. I really want to know what you think about this video. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for subscribing. God bless. Love you. Hello everyone. This is Emma from Tema. How are you all doing? Yes, I know the Lord himself is keeping us as long as we keep our eyes, our minds on him. He's the glory and the lifter of our head. Yes, today we are all back to school again. So come with me. Let's watch. Pressure. Oh, sir. What does that belong to her? I grew up in her business. She's, she's supposed to make it. She's supposed to go far. How did you enter? I grew up with everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out. Your sickness. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You have to rise up. Jesus. Hey! At last. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. My family is free. Did you hear the lady? She said, hey, at last. This is not fake. This is not staged. This is a reality of somebody's life. The shout tells you she has been victorious over the enemy. At last, God Almighty saved her and set her free. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? <laughs> Madam, you're very welcome. Can you tell us your name, the person standing beside you, and share with us your wonderful testimony? Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Miss Vivian. The man beside me is my lovely husband. It all started, um, I come to thank God for what God has done in my life and my family. It all started when I was, when I was 13 to 14 years, I was injected by then in the body school. So where I'm staying in the body school, I normally see the, there's a mango tree beside the window where I'm staying. So there's a man coming to that mango tree, the same mango tree, every day to wave at me. Mm. And I too, I will wave at. So that's how it started. I started seeing the man. At the end of the day, at the age of 19 years, sisters coming to marry me, a lot of men coming to marry me. I was refusing all the sisters that are coming to, to marry me. One day, my dad told me, look, you have to choose one among all these men coming to marry you and leave my house. So it was a, it was a war in our family by then. So one day my grandma took me to somewhere in the Habalis. So when they reached there, the Habalis say it was a spiritual husband is causing the problem. So they now did some cantation and said, there's a mirror in my forehead. 
they cut the forehead and something like me drop down from that. So that's how at the end of the day, I married to my husband. So when the marriage hold, after three days, the marriage, I started having problem. The marriage is scattered. So I keep on praying. I went to, there's a Reverend Father in our parish by then. I started praying and went, so the marriage now holds. To the glory of God, we went married. The marriage holds well. So I started having children. The first one, the second one, the third one. I was in the labor room. So when the, the doctor is trying to tell Madam, push for the third child, I seen the same the same man appeared to me physically in that labor room. He now told me, this is the time for you to come. I said, come where? So the doctor was asking me, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Even the midwife, well, madam, who are you talking to? They don't see what I saw. So when I shout the blood of Jesus, he now disappeared. So I now deliver my baby safely there is power power wonder waking power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder waking power in the precious blood of the lamb do we see the power of god in the blood of jesus christ yes the blood has power did we hear her and it worked for her do the same thing the blood works it's powerful so he keep on tormenting me to the essence. He's always coming to me to, he's always having sex with me in a dream. Each time he have sex with me in a dream, I don't see my husband as anything. I don't listen to him. I don't even close to him. He's my enemy. I fight him. I tear his clothes. I fight the children. There's no peace in the home. So it causes a lot of sickness, high blood pressure, different sicknesses. He crumbled my business. He used my children to crumble my business. One of them used my money to go to bed. A lot of things happen. Hmm. So before you know, the same man again, each time he comes to me, it's always because I, I don't want to close eyes and sleep. Because if I close eyes, the same man will come. Every night, 12 o'clock, he must come. So, he now said, you will see in the dream. This one is a dream. I started bedwetting. Bedwetting, not only when I sleep. This is when I was with people around me. Jesus. When my eyes are open, I will see myself bedwetting. I go out. You know the tears are tears of joy. I thank God she overcame it. I know when you remember those things, it's very painful. The enemy always like to embarrass people of God, God's creation. He doesn't want people to enjoy what God has for them. He's a defeated foe anyways. Because God Almighty has wiped away those years of sorrow and pain. So madam, you, you, also, you mean that this spirit husband also gave you the spirit of bedwetting. Seriously, this I go with Tower. I started asking my colleague, is he adult pampas? So I, I started using any that I don't have money to use the towel or I'll get a uh, part. I will use part one or two. I keep on praying. Till so one day, a woman was owing me 10,000 naira. I told her, I need my money, I want to buy goods. I don't have any again. My business has cr uh, crumbled. He said that he's not hoeing me, that he has already paid me. So, well, after they argue, I called the woman. Say, you will spend this money in the hospital. You will die with the money. After two days, I was in my house. Police knocked on my house. They want to arrest me. I said, what did I do? He said, when I reach the station, I will know. When I reached there, I saw the woman there. Call him a witch. I am the one that wants to kill her. So, the, the DPO... Madam, what happened? And I explained to everything. He saw you say, did you, are, are you the one that did this thing to her? I said, no, I'm not the one. The only that I, I use anger, is anger make me to speak like that. But at, actually, I don't know what happened to, to the woman. 
So the police officer said they don't judge case issue, uh, which issue in that session. That's how he now dismissed me. You know, we have heard most of them say if they have spiritual husband or spiritual wives, whenever they are angry, the spiritual husband or spiritual wife go to fight on behalf of them. So I think that is what happened to the lady because she was upset. The spiritual husband went to fight for her. That's something. <laughs> so you mean this spirit husband also caused you to have this anger? Yes. It caused me anger. I fight a lot. Nobody defeats me. So, but to the glory of God, when the, I have an issue too with my husband, I let us and say you will not end well. After three days, he have terrible accident. And it is the same scripture husband. I did not know. It's, it's after two days, he now appeared to me physically inside my room. He said, I told you to marry me. You refuse. You love another one. I said, marry you for what? So that's where I discovered that is the one that caused the problem. So anybody that hurt me, the spiritual husband will hurt the person back. So the problem is too much. He torment me enough. I can't go where people stay. I can't go to church because I will see myself bedwetting. So I decided to. I called my husband. When are we visiting Snago again? He said, You don't have money. I'm not going to no pray. But before then, 2004. Uh, 2016, February, I was in my shop. So I was lamenting and crying about my business, how it cropped down. So I now sleep off in the afternoon. Prophet T.B. Joshua appeared to me. Say, my daughter, why are you crying? Stand up and pray. I now stood up. I check around me, it's in the market. And I started praying. It's not up to five minutes when I finish the prayer. A vehicle fell a break. Coming direction where I'm staying and where I'm doing my business. Crop the remaining business. Destroy everything. Push me into the gutter there. There's my son Emmanuel sleeping there. People have to raise the car up and move my son under the car. Glory be to God. There's nothing happened to my son. Not even a scratch. I put Emmanuel. So I can't go. That clap is not enough for the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. So I called my husband again. He said, I don't have money. Sickness, your sickness, I've already take all the money that I have. What do you want me to do? I said, Daddy, I will borrow money. If I beg, I will beg. I must reach synagogue. And the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua will deliver me and I will be free from this torment. Mm -hmm. And to the glory of God, when I reached here last week, I saw evangelists coming towards me. But he never, he never even reached my side. I saw a long hand touch me. I dodged the first one. When I looked, the evangelist is not even close to me yet. As I see the same long hand coming. Before I know it to dodge, it tapped my head. So I don't know what happened again. And you were delivered. I was delivered. So we put our hands together for the miracle walking God. <laughs> so madam, after your deliverance, can you tell us those changes you've observed? Hmm? Ah, a lot of changes. I saw my husband. <laughs> So how was it like before and how is it now? Come in again. How was the relationship with your husband before so, now and how so, is it so now? So lovely, so lovely, so sweet. <laughs> everything, everything changed. My home returned back to the glory of God. I love my children. I love my husband. Everything is calm. 
the anger left, all the pain in me left, all the sickness is left. So about the nightmares, the spirit was banned after your deliverance, can you tell us? He came in the night, mm -hmm. the same lodge. He was coming to direction to me. He now see a light, mm -hmm. a full light. Mm -hmm. Once he see the light, he started running. I was calling him, come back here. He now started running, that's how he run. <laughs> he now disappear. So a day today again, that yes, yesterday night, I, I dream where one man, Full bag of dollars, money. Madam, take your money back. Take your money back. I don't want to hold your money anymore. Everybody's giving me my money, all my money. Hey, my people, do you see what deliverance does? Please don't ignore it. Don't think about what people say about you. Because I've been, you know, answering people's questions and I know I can see most of them haven't gone. Or either they are trying to avoid it or thinking that somebody will see them and talk bad about them. Prophet T.P. Joshua always call people out and say, don't be shy, come forward because it's for your own benefit. It is for your own benefit. When you are rich and uh, flamboyant, <laughs> when those same people see you, they'll go, oh my goodness, maybe she went to do money rituals or something. Please, go and let God bless you so they can go and get their deliverance too. Money. Indeed, the greatest restorer, Jesus Christ, has restored you. So, madam, can you tell us, what about that bedwetting after the deliverance? The bedwet, you can see me, nothing. I do not wear anything. Mm. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'll see. No pain. So, madam, with the blessings God Almighty has bestowed upon you, the blessings of healing and deliverance, freedom, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for viewers all over the world watching you right now? Honestly, the advice the viewers at home, all over the whole world, people watching me, just trust in God and believe that one day he will do the same thing to you as mine in Jesus' name. So now can we listen to your husband? You can see that the affection is restored. <laughs> So, sir, you're very welcome. Can you tell us your name and share with us the goodness of God in your wife's life? Emmanuel. Good morning, church. My name is Benjamin Ugoke, an assistant superintendent of police. I am from Enugu State, but I'm working in Jos, Plateau State. I'm here to confirm the testimony given by my wife. It is 100% true. Because the whole family passed through hell within that period. He doesn't look at me as his, her husband. I cannot near her. Even if you are on the bed, she will push me inside the wall and stay outside. Even if I was lying down before her, when she comes, she shift on me, let me lie down. If you need anything like money, She'll come and say, okay, I have 100 naira. Maybe I'm holding 300. I say, take 100 naira. He said, no lie, I need 200. And I must give her the 200 naira. If I did not do it, that's another problem. I have been passing through all these things. When I look at it, I say, what's the problem of this? Is this how people used to marry? Will my own be a different thing? I have to endure. I keep on praying. When he's shouting on these children, my children here, oh God, he will tell, is, is really this woman the mother of the children? I have six children, five boys and one girl. In the night, even I come close to her, Madam, pull off, say for what? What do you want? Sometimes, when it is time to go to bed, she will go and wear trousers. I said, okay, oh. I say, is this the woman I married or is this a different thing? Because I know how we love ourselves from the beginning. So what, what was the reason for her wearing the trousers? So that I will not touch her in the night. 
So now, can you tell us about your relationship with your wife? Um, after the deliverance, oh my God. <laughs> it is that we are just married today. <laughs> That club is not enough. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Because that period, I can't save a couple. As my salary is entering, is going to hospital. New health clinic, George University Teaching Hospital, police clinic, and the hospital, uh, Different hospital from both native, from different six less to another one. The last one was five broad. They said they would do operation. I said no. Because one of the doctors said it is 50 50. I said no, I cannot do any operation. Because I know the God I'm serving, it cannot happen. The type of five broad will come out on its own and thank God. That's how it happened. It came out. And before this time, during the partners meeting with uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, I was invited at the prayer mountain and I was delivered of the spirit of idol from the family. Mm -hmm. So now can, can we take time out to watch the clip of how he was delivered through the faculties of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua? Nous allons regarder le clip de comment il était délivré par le Prophet T.B. Joshua. Espectador, observa tu pantalla para ver cómo él recibió su liberación. Is the head of the family. Is the one to service them. And he refused to watch them. Every time TV shows, TV shows, TV shows. That I do in the family. Nobody's going anywhere. Indeed, this kind God, another one, no day. <laughs> Sister, can you go with your testimony? Well, I want to thank God because this idol tormented me, the whole family. So I've been working for about two years. I can't boast of anything. The money is coming, but I don't know where it is going. When this thing was happening, this idol is more than 200 years in the family. Even my father, I don't know how it come to be. They worship this idol with dogs. Within that period, I will be in a dream and see dogs pursuing me, fighting me seriously. And when they come, they will be facing my manhood to bite my manhood. And I will dodge them and kill all of them. I'm the head of the family. I, my father refused to worship it. And myself, I said, I can never worship it. I don't know where it comes from. And it is not my God. They started fighting me. So after the deliverance, all those dogs I see in the dream, I no more see them. Both masquerades I see in the dream, everything cleared. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. And if only... <laughs> after that deliverance, I was promoted in 2020, and the deliverance came in 2021. By then, I was of a floating officer. But after the deliverance, I was given an office. Presently, I have my own office now as a DCO of a division. So with that position that you have, can you now tell us, boldly tell us your name and tell us, put the position, the title. My name is Assistant Superintendent of Police, Benjamin Ugoke. 
Yes, my people of God. Now, those who always criticize that is stage or is fake, this is an assistant superintendent of police. Was he paid to come and testify or is he staging? You ask yourselves, those who are always questioning it. And this promotion happened after that touch from the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua. Yes. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle working God? So not only were you delivered, your wife was also delivered. So can you tell us, with what God Almighty has done for your family, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for viewers all over the world watching you right now? Well, my people in the church and viewers all over the world, uh, this God we are worshiping, some people will be praying. They will be thinking that God is not going to listen to their prayer. This God has a long hand. Maybe you are not close to him. He will stretch his hand and he's drawing you closer. Until you come very close to him, your miracle will follow you. So you have patience because God is not a late comer. He does things at his own time. Your miracle is coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Indeed, the slow movement of a tiger is not a mistake but a calculated accuracy. At God's appointed time, everything is beautiful. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? We need to listen to the marvelous testimony of Mr. Benjamin and his wife, Vivian. She said that everything commenced when she was 13 years old. A strange man was in a public school at the outside of her school. And she saw a strange man every time. And she said that à un moment donné, lorsqu'elle était supposée se marier, les prétendants venaient à elle, mais elle, elle refusait de se marier. Elle dit qu'un jour, elle est partie euh, euh, voir un sorcier. Et, dans le rêve, elle a vu un sorcier et c'était le mari spirituel. Qui a dit que c'était le mari spirituel qui la tourmentait. Quand ils sont partis voir ce sorcier, ce marabout physiquement, il a dit que c'était le mari spirituel qui la tourmentait. Elle dit qu'ensuite, son père la, la poussa à se marier parce que c'était. Il, il disait qu'elle prenait trop de temps. Elle dit que quand elle a... Euh, et elle était enceinte, c'était difficile pour elle d'accoucher parce que elle voyait cet homme étrange dans les rêves et c'était il y avait des moments de complications et qu'elle a crié au nom de Jésus et c'est à ce moment-là qu'elle a pu accoucher. Elle dit aussi qu'elle se battait au niveau de son foyer, se bat beaucoup, elle se battait avec son mari et qu'il n'y avait pas de paix. Elle dit qu'à chaque fois qu'elle dormait, elle voyait cet homme étrange qui venait et qui avait des rapports intimes avec elle. Elle dit qu'elle après, à un moment donné, elle a commencé à souffrir, à souffrir d'énurésie, elle faisait pipi sur elle, que ce soit qu'elle était endormie ou éveillée et qu'elle souffrait de cette énurésie sévère. Elle dit qu'elle voyait une, euh, rien n'allait dans sa vie, elle était pleine de colère et elle se battait tout le temps. Et un jour, elle a fait un rêve du prophète Tibi Joshua qui lui a demandé de se lever et de prier et qu'à ce moment, lorsqu'elle s'est réveillée, elle a vu qu'elle était engagée dans un accident et que son fils n'était pas sorti de cet accident et elle a fait sortir son fils de cet endroit où il était bloqué sous la voiture. Elle dit que elle est venue donc à la synagogue église des nations pour chercher la solution et que ensuite, elle, comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, l'évangéliste a prié pour elle. Elle était complètement délivrée de cette idole de famille, de ce mari de nuit qui la tourmentait sévèrement. Son mari à ses côtés, l'inspecteur Benjamin, dit que lui aussi, il était tourmenté auparavant par un esprit, une idole, une idole familiale et qu'il est venu ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations durant la réunion des partenaires où le prophète Sibi Joshua a prié pour, vous, pour lui et a chassé cette idole familiale. Il dit qu'il est complètement, il est restauré, il a eu une promotion parce que euh, il voyait, ses, il avait toujours des rêves étranges, il voyait cette idole l'attaquer en voulant le mordre dans ses parties intimes. Il dit qu'auparavant, il n'arrivait pas à s'approcher de sa femme parce qu'elle est très colérique, mais maintenant, l'amour est revenu, la paix est de retour et il est complètement libéré. Il dit que, comme conseil, que d'être patient et de toujours attendre le temps de Dieu et d'accourir à lui lorsqu'on a des problèmes. Les spectateurs du monde entier, continuent de regarder vos écrans. Spectateurs de tout le monde, nous avons écouté le merveilleux testimony de la señora Viviane et son esposo Benjamin. Ils sont de ici, de Nigeria. Elle nous cuenta que, desde pequeña, veía una persona, un hombre extraño, que se aparecía en sus sueños. Esto era un esposo espiritual que atormentó su vida en todas las áreas, le causó enfermedad, le causó retroceso en su trabajo, le causó muchas dificultades en su vida, incluso un problema de mojar la cama. Ella no sentía afecto por su esposo. Y cuando ella vino aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en busca de liberación, recibió el toque del evangelista. Y desde ese momento, ella fue completamente liberada hoy está aquí para testificar que su familia ha sido restaurada ahora ya siente amor, siente paz siente gozo, ya no tiene ese espíritu de enojo que tenía antes y ella puede dar testimonio de eso, su esposo también está aquí para testificar que el profeta Tibi Joshua oró por él y él fue libre de un espíritu de ídolo familiar y los dos están recibiendo han recibido su liberación y su progreso pueden ver la diferencia completamente de su vida antes a lo que es hoy, ellos le dan toda la gloria 
gloria a Dios y nos animan a confiar en Dios porque Él también puede hacerlo por nosotros. Espectador, permanece conectado. Let's put our hands God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful testimony. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for this testimony. And we thank God for our lives, for all that he's been doing in our lives. My people of God, this is the end of this testimony. And stay blessed today, tomorrow, weeks, months, years to come. Stay blessed. And may he keep you all safe throughout. Love you all. Love you, love you, love you. This is Emma from Tema. Bye.